My name is Runa Rettenhagen and I work in Delta V Marketing. Today we're going to show a demonstration that shows the robustness of Foundation Field Bus. We have a, a lot of demo equipment here today and we're going to show the flow from uh, water through these pipings, through these field devices that we have. We have a, a micromotion transmitter here that uh, measures flow. We have a fissure valve, and we, these are field bus devices, and the control is actually down in the field devices. We have the AI function block running in this micromotion device, and we have the PID function block and the AO function block running in the valve. What we're going to do here is we're going to uh, simulate a failure in the control system and see how the redundant field bus car takes over and then we're going to simulate a failure in the redundant field bus card and see that the control still is continued in the field uh, and show how the foundation field bus provides an extra level of robustness that way. So now when we look at the Delta V operate here we see uh, one of the tanks, this is an oil and water tank. Uh, we're actually going to pull water out of the bottom of the tank through this pump and motor combination through the control valve here and this is the measurement from the micromotion flow meter. Right now we're not running so we can see that the flow is zero gallons per minute. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to start up this uh, flow loop and we're going to circulate water between these two tanks. So now we can see that uh, we can hear the pump is starting and we can see the flow is increasing and, and uh, it's stabilizing around one gallon per minute which is the set point. So now that the loop uh, is running here at one gallon per minute uh, this is our Delta V controllers and our IO card and as you can see this is the field bus card and we have a redundant field bus card. Um, the blinking card here is the backup and this is the active card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the active card and we're going to notice that the backup card now is not blinking no more. This one took over control of the field bus segment and everything is still running fine. The loop is running at one gallon per minute and we can see uh, the flow on the screen. Next I'm going to disconnect the remaining card here and obviously when I disconnect the remaining card we're going to lose view to the process from our operator screen. So let me go ahead and do that. The view from the operator graphics disappears and, and we get a bad signal coming in there but when we look at the instrument itself we still have a flow of one gallon per minute. What we're going to do here last is to actually show the control uh, movement in the field. I have a manual valve that I'm going to shut off and we're going to see the control valve trying to open up uh, its valve position to try to compensate for the reduced flow that happens by me uh, shutting this valve. So we can see the control valve is opening up to try to compensate for the reduced flow. So what we've shown you here today is a unique feature of Foundation Field Bus. Foundation Field Bus is the only bus technology today that allows for control in the field. And Foundation Field Bus is a key component of Delta V and the plant web architecture.